All right, uh, we're going to go ahead and use this calf uh, here, the Charlet appearing calf. Really the nicest balanced calf as long as extended up through that front end. He's a long spine type of a calf, a calf that has plenty of thickness of muscle, probably the most pounds of muscle than the other calves that are in the class. My biggest disadvantage of this calf just doesn't have the finish I want to see. I want to see some more uh, finish. I want to be a little softer handling over there at the top. He does have a little behind his tail head, a little in his brisket, but I'd just like to see some more finish on this calf, and I think this would be a really, really good calf if we had about a thir three percent more finish back fat on him. I think he'd really be a tough calf to uh, compete with uh, because he is a nice, balanced, long body, long spine type of a calf that has some muscle to him. We just need some more finish to this calf. This is where this black calf has a, a greater advantage over the Charlotte calf because this calf actually has more finish on him. I appreciate the that he had over his ribs. I appreciate the softness as I go down over his four rib. It tells me this calf had a chance of having a uh, high, low, low grade, but still had a higher quality grade to him. But at the same time, this calf also is a calf that gets a little deeper in his skin. Probably just needs to touch more muscle down his top, but especially when you get to his quarter. Just doesn't have that shape of muscle when you get down here to the quarter, and I'd like to have a little more shape. I'd like to strengthen, strengthen him up in his top and make him a little stronger there in his top, get him a little longer out of his hip, a little leveler out of his hip. When I see that calf move, he drops that hip and wants to get them feet under him just a little bit. But if I could change that about him, I've had a great chance of uh, winning the class, but I just want to tell him a few things about him, but still, I appreciate finish. I appreciate it. He has some cover, cover on him. He has some muscle to him. He's still got a good calf there. Congratulations. And the next calf we have here in line. The next calf we have here in line is a large frame, long body type of a calf. A calf that uh, this bring us appearing calf uh, probably just needs some more depth of body. Just a tighter rib type of a calf. Needs some more expansion to a rib structure. But most of all, probably like to get some more of a base width. When you get right behind him, he is the lightest of the class. We just need to get some overall width to him, make him a little stouter if we can, but he is a big frame, longer body type calf to work with. Congratulations to all three of you. Congratulations to class two winner Lillian Lane. You'll be coming back for the drive. In second place, Kaylee Kurtz, and in third, Brock Mascot. We're now looking for class three. In this group, we have two entries, Lily Lemieux and Aubrey Ward. The weight range in this class is from 1240 to 1275.
Good, uh, two, two really nice kids out here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, use the red cap up in the front end. He is the stoutest design cap. He's also a cap that when I put my hands on him really surprised me. Really the softer handling cap of the class. He is the combination when we start talking about carcass value. He takes everything and puts it in that complete package of what we want to do. Now when we start talking about the profile of this cap, he is a cap that has some uh, length extension up through that front end. He's a little strong top type of a cap, but he is a cap I want him to drop down in that flank. He really sucks up in that flank more than I'd like to see. I think if we could drop him down in that flank, he'd look a lot better. But also when he gets on the move, he gets a little more restricted out of that hip. I'd like to loosen him up in his hip if I could, but still, when you start talking about carcass value, he he's a cap that sort of puts it all together. The cap there in the second hole, a long-bodied, extremely long-bodied type cap. You appreciate that about him. A cap that you gives up when we start talking about finish, start talking about muscle. I just think he got outpowered by the cap that stood in front of him. I do appreciate the overall depth that he has. He dropped down in his flank just a little more. I'd just like to get some more finish on this cap. In, uh, in at 12.5, I'd like to go ahead and have a little more finish on that cap. Just doesn't have it there for me yet, but still, I think you all done a great job raising and exhibiting this calves. Let's give them another round of applause on a job well done. Congratulations to the winner of Class 3, Aubrey Ward, and in second, Lily Lemieux. Class 4, we're looking for you next, Waylon Mitchell, Hallie Bird, and Warren Whitehurst. The weight ranges in this class from 1295 to 1310. If you're feeling hungry or looking for a snack or a drink, the concession stand is open and it's on this side of the arena. We also have merchandise from the Swan River Fair for sale over in the corner by the ladies' restroom. They have fair shirts and hats and other memorabilia.
Let's give them a round of applause on a job well done. They've done a great job out here. We're going to go ahead and start the class off with what I think is the complete package type class. He takes everything in him and puts it in a complete package. He's a long spine type of a cat that has a lot of depth dimension. He has some spring to that rib structure. A cat that when I get my hands on him, he's a soft handling cat as well. But when I get right behind him, I really get impressed. You got a lot of stoutness to that cat. He's a thick-ended type of cat that has a lot of edible product to him. I really appreciate that about that cat. If I could change him in any way, he'd probably like to open him up in his forerib just a little more. Uh, but still, that's getting nitpicked. He'd probably like to clean him up in that front end. But still, a good cat to work with. Congratulations. The next cat we have here in line is a cat that... A cat that I think is probably the softer handling of the pair. He's a soft made type of a cat that should be a higher quality type cat when we open up in that ribeye. I would expect this cat to have that choice ribeye when we rib him open. A cat, when you get right behind him, he has some muscle down his top. He has some shape to that quarter. You appreciate that about him. You like the length and extension. What I would like to do to this calf is probably get a little more expansion, get a little more base width to this calf. Finally, probably just want to go ahead and extend him up in that front end. He gets a little short and coarse up in that front end. I just want to make it just a touch bit longer, but still a nice calf to work with. I think he just got outpowered by the calf that stood there in front of you. The next calf we have here in line is a calf you really appreciate about the depth, the body capacity of this calf. He's a boulder sprung type of calf than we've seen in our other two calves. Uh, but a calf that sort of gets a little more disappointing when I get my hands on him. Probably the harder handling calf uh, of the class. I think when we start getting up here to the uh, upper 12, 1300, we need to have some finish on these calves. Uh, this calf just doesn't have that finish on him. He's a little harder over that loin. He also gets a little flatter there in his quarter, and I'd like to have a little more shape, expansion there, that uh, center and lower port of the quarter if we could. But still, y'all done an awesome, awesome job. Let's give them one more round of applause on a job well done. Congratulations to Class 4 winner, Hallie Bird. You'll be back for the drive. In second, Warren Whitehurst. And in third, Waylon Mitchell. We're now looking for Class 5 of homegrown fat steers. will be the last class before the drive. In this group, we have J.D. Driggers, Rayan Geralds, Reagan Geralds, and Bailey Bird. The weights in this class range from 1320 to 1460.
Let's give them all a round of applause on a job well done. They've done a great job out here. They like a little bit of this cool air that's moved in, but uh, still, I think we got a great class out here. I think we got a calf that sort of wins the class uh, pretty easy, a calf that puts it all together in a complete package. He's a thick-ended type of a calf that also has some softness over that forerib. You appreciate that about him. But I love the depth and boldness that that calf has. I like the overall shape of ribs that this calf has, the bone that he stands down on. He just takes it in and puts it in a complete package. Sure, I would like to get a little more angulation, probably like to get him a little taller at the the shoulder, but I think he simply wins the class. The next calf we got there in line, the second place calf, is a calf you appreciate the shape and expansion of rib structure that he has. I like your overall depth that he has. He's a nice balanced calf, but he gets a little shorter hip. He gets a little shorter there in his loin just a little more. And if I'd like to uh, go ahead and get him a little more explosive there out of his hip if we could, and I think that's where he got uh, uh, beat with the uh, Charlet appearing calf. But still, it's a nice calf to work with. And finally, in third Here's a cat that has a lot of extension. You appreciate that about him. A cat that just needs more overall edible product. Just doesn't have that power the other two steers had. Just need a little more meat there if we could. Uh, but still, he's a steer that has plenty of depth to him. He has some expansion, that rib structure. And a cat that has some finish as well. But still, I think they're a great cat, uh, group of calves. Let's give them all one more round of applause on a job well done. Congratulations to Class 5 winner Reagan Geralds. Please stay in for the drive. Thank you. We're looking for the fourth place class winner, Hallie Bird. The third place class winner, Aubrey Ward. The winner from Class 2, Lillian Lane. And the winner from Class 1, Lyndon Teague. Please enter the arena. If you are second in your class, please go to your steer in case you're called for the drive. If you are second in class, please head to the alley in case you're called for the drive. Five really nice calves out here. Uh, here's your champion drive. Now let's go ahead and give these exhibitors a round of applause. They've done a great job getting it here. We got about five calves, and uh, all these calves are sort of different in their types and kind. You got one up here in the front end, probably the light, the lightweight uh, calf. It's the deep-bodied calf. Has a lot of boldness, has a lot of depth and dimension. I appreciate that about this calf. I'd like to just stretch him out, get him a little longer extended, especially up there in that front end. 
the Charlet calf there in second. A calf that's just uh, sort of won his class because he's a combination type calf, a nice balance type calf. But a calf, we just need to have more finish on this calf, probably get a little more shape to his muscle to make him go a little further. The next calf we have there in line, the red calf, is a stout design, soft handling type of a calf. A calf you really appreciate the length and extension on that front end, but at the same time, a calf we'd like to drop him down in his flank just a little more, get him a little more free moving out of that hip, uh, get him a little uh, freer moving off them hind legs just to touch. The black one, uh, calf there in the uh, fourth hole, really long spine type of a calf that's extended up that front end. Probably like to clean him up in that front end just a hair, but still he's a stout calf. When you get right behind him, you don't expect him to have as much muscle as he does, but he has a lot of thickness and dimension of muscle throughout. A calf that we'd like to go ahead and make him a little easier looking, uh, soggy or middled if we could, uh, could say, but still a nice calf to work with. And then the Charlet, the heavyweight calf there at the end, a calf we'd probably just like to get him a little Smaller at the point of the shoulder, a calf that has some finish on him. He's a calf that has a plenty of power to him, but just a calf that we just want to go ahead and get just a little taller. Uh, probably stretch him out just a hair more for that weight, but still, they're great calves to work with. Let's give them one more round of applause on a job well done. We'll select that grand champion. Congratulations to Reagan Jarrell's Grand Champion Homegrown Fat Steer. We're now looking for the second place animal from Class 5, belongs to Bailey Bird. She will re enter the arena. Reserve champion homegrown fat steer goes to Bailey Bird from Class 5. J.D. Driggers from Class 5 will re-enter. She will not re-enter. Congratulations to third overall homegrown Lyndon Teague. Addison Burns from Class 1 will re enter.
Congratulations to fourth overall, Hallie Bird. We're now looking for the second place animal from class four, Warren Whitehurst. He will not re-enter. Congratulations to Aubrey Ward from Class 3. She'll be fifth overall. You may now exit the arena. We're going to go ahead and grab some photos of these calves, and then we'll roll up to the theater to see your homegrown show. Let's put our hands together one more time. Grand champion, Reagan Geralds. Reserve champion, Bailey Bird. Third place, Lyndon Teague. Fourth, Hallie Bird. And fifth, Aubrey Ward. Great job. If you're scratching from showmanship, please come let us know so we're not looking for you. Also, if you have yet to pick up your number, please come and pick up your number in the announcer stand.
If you're interested in Swanee River Fair merchandise, shirts, hats, etc., the merchandise booth is by the women's restroom, and they will be closing shortly. So if you'd like to get something, now is a great time to do that. We're about to get ready for our homegrown feeder show. If you're in class one, please make sure you're in the alley. Bronson Senior FFA Chapter Animal, Buddy Godwin, and Nevaeh Pogue. Now entering the ring, we have Class 1, Bronson Senior FFA, shown by Ashley Cannon, Buddy Godwin, and Nevaeh Pogue. The weights for this group range from 690 to 695. We'd also like to take a moment to thank our beef sponsors, Cloverleaf, Brad and Shannon Etheridge, Jeff Phillips, 4J Cattle, Levy County Farm Bureau, Kevin Stutz Welding, J2 Cattle Company, Jerry and Desiree Mills, Heather Rucker with Florida Farm Bureau, Ben Colson with Florida Farm Bureau, IS Ranch, Mills Performance Horses, Forever Flowers and Gifts, Long Fencing, Vernon and Dalton Long, Gerald Show Cattle, Lane Farms, Wendy and David Bird, 
and Mills 55 Farm. Thank you for supporting the Beef Show. We're still waiting for Buddy Godwin and Nevaeh Pope. They are a scratch. Nice, nice calf to start the feeder calf show off with. A really well-balanced type of a calf that's long extended up in that front end. Lay smooth and sharp in that shoulder. You appreciate that about him. I love the levelness of this calf. A calf, if we could change him in any way, probably like to get him a little longer in his hip. He gets a little shorter, gets a little choppier off them hind legs than we'd like to see. Probably drop him down in his flank just to touch. But still, he's a calf that has some thickness. He has a lot of growth to him. He has a lot of extension. He's going to be a nice calf as this calf uh, develops. Congratulations uh, to you on their first class here. And this is also your first time showing this calf, correct? Good job. Congratulations. Congratulations to Ashley Cannon showing for Bronson Senior FFA Chapter. Please come back for the drive. We're now looking for class two. In this group, we have Reagan Lane, Olivia Hilty, Emily Sash, Bradley Giannisis, and Sage Bullock. Correction, we've had some scratches. In this group, we just have Reagan Lane and Emily Sash for class two. The weight range in this class is from 705 to 710.
Nice set of uh, calves here. Let's give these two exhibitors a round of applause on a job well done. They've done a great job. I'm going to go ahead and use the calf up here in the front end, as he's probably the nicest balanced calf, the stoutest made calf, a calf that has plenty of thickness through it. He's a calf that has a lot of extension up to that front end, a calf that's really uh, sound when you get him out on the move, uh, a calf you appreciate that about him, but also a younger calf, but as uh, he develops, he'll drop down in that flank as well, uh, but still, I'd just like to see him just drop down a little bit more as we are, uh, but still, a calf, when you get right behind him, you appreciate the overall shape and dimension of muscle that he has, just a good calf that puts it together in a complete package. The calf here in the second place, a little taller, more upstanding calf, probably going to be a little longer or bodied calf, I would expect this calf to probably outweigh the first place calf here uh, when he gets to the mature weight. Uh, but a calf that just gets up in terms of overall power just doesn't have that center width. He doesn't have that base floor width. I'd like to see some more base width to him as he gets on the move. A little more shape there out of his quarter. But I love the extension. I love the length and uh, front end this calf has. Congratulations. Let's give him one more round of applause on job well done. Congratulations to the winner of Class 2, Emily Sash. Please come back for the drive. And the second place, Reagan Lane. Congratulations, girls. We're now looking for Class 3. In this group, we have Brooke Cannon, James Gilliam, and Grace Dola. The weight range in this group is 770 to 775.
Nice group of devs here. Let's give them all a round of applause on a job well done. They've all done a great job out here. I'm going to go ahead and use an easier feeding type calf. He may be more of a moderate frame calf, a calf that has some shape and expansion throughout the rib structure. He's a deep body type of a calf, a calf that has plenty of thickness throughout, a calf that has a lot of balance and eye when you see him from the profile. When you see him on the move, I think he's a calf that moves off the feet and legs really well. Probably one of the squarest made calves in far as uh, foot placements as we have here in the class. But still a calf that has some extension up front. If I could change this calf in any, probably get him a little taller at the point of the shoulder. I don't think he's going to be a great big calf when he matures out. I think he's going to still be a moderate frame. But I still think he's a calf that's going to have a lot of power to him. He should be an easy feeding, easy finishing calf. The red calf here in the second place hole, a little larger frame type of a calf, uh, probably a, what I would call a large feeder calf, a calf that has plenty of bone. you got to appreciate the foot that he stands down on. He has a lot of bone there, and you appreciate that about him. A calf that has some depth of body to him. When I get right behind him, I just get a little more disappointed. I wish there was a little more shape there to his quarter. He just seems to be a little flatter there in his doesn't come out of his top with a lot of shape and spring to that top. And that's what I would like to see more of on this calf. But I love the bone work that he has. I like the extension. He's going to be a large frame calf. You'll be able to regulate him just a little more by trying to get him start him on a finisher feed a little earlier. But still, he's a good calf. We just need more base width and a little more shape of muscle to him. And finally, this calf over here, a long-bodied calf. You've got to appreciate the length and extension that calf has. A calf, you got to, uh, when you get off to the side from head to tail, he has a lot of length and extension to him. Uh, but when you start analyzing him a little more, he's probably a shallower body calf. I want to get him a little deeper bodied, deeper in his flank, probably get just a touch more muscle when I get right behind him, just get a little uh, more muscle. But he did surprise me. He does have muscle behind him. He has some shape of muscle, and you appreciate that about him. But compared to the other two, I think he just gets out power just a touch when we start talking about total pounds. But still, nice calves. You're still going to have fun with him, raising him as a mature calf. Congratulations, all three of you. Congratulations to the winner of Class 3, Grace Dola. Be ready to come back for the drive. In second, Brooke Cannon. And in third, James Gillum. Class 4 will now enter the ring. We've got Kaylee Davis, Jaden Bullock, Baden Lemieux, and Caden Klein. The weights range from 8.05 to 8.40.
Nice group of kids here. Let's give them all a round of applause, if y'all don't mind. They've done a great job out here as well. I'm going to go ahead and what I just think the complete path of the class. I don't think he's the heaviest muscle. I don't think he's the flashiest design cap. I just think this cap takes everything and he puts it in a complete package. I find the fewest faults in this cap. I think he's a long body cap that has a lot of skeletal extension to him. I think he's a deep body cap that has plenty of depth and dimension. When I get right behind him, he's probably not the heaviest, most, most shapely muscled calf, but he still has plenty of muscle. I think he has plenty of thickness down that top. I think he has plenty of th thickness through the center portion of that quarter uh, calf. When I see him move, he moves off his feet and legs really well. Just a nice calf that just takes everything and puts it in a complete type package. The next calf we have here, line, second calf, probably a nicer balance. Some people may like this calf just a touch more. I like the front end on this calf. He's really a long fronted type calf that I appreciate about him. He's level in his top. When you get right behind him, he's really shapely in his muscle. Has a lot of sh expression of muscle to him. Uh, when I sit right in the center, uh, center pivot of his uh, quarter right there, probably the widest calf right through the center dimension of his quarter. But as it goes down, he funnels down just a little more, tapers off, gets a little flatter in his overall muscle pattern. Uh, but a calf that I'd probably like to lengthen him up in his hip just a little bit, get him a little smoother up through that front end. I think he's going to be a calf that when we start analyzing him, we, uh, uh, as he gets mature, he's going to be a little heavier fronted type of a calf. I'd like to go ahead and make him a smoother in that front end, but still he's a nice calf to work with, though. Uh, the next uh, calf we have here in line, another calf that has some extension. Uh, body capacity. He's a calf that has some shape to him out of his top, and you appreciate that about him. But I like the length and extension of this calf. He's a calf that when I get right behind him, he has some muscle. He's not the heaviest muscle, but he has plenty of muscle uh, there. I just think he got outpowered in terms of balance and overall uh, muscle and uh, power from the other two calves that stood in front of him. Still a nice calf to work with. Congratulations. Good job. Finally, this calf, probably a lot larger frame type calf than our W2 calf. A calf you appreciate the bone that he stands down on. I like how lengthy, uh, long and lengthy he is up in that front end. In his front one third, he's really a long fronted type of a calf. But a calf that also, when you see him from the profile, he's a level design calf, but he's also shallow body. I want to get him a little deeper body, drop him down in his flank just a little more. Mainly when I get right behind him, he just doesn't have that muscle, doesn't have that width to stifle that I like to see. He doesn't have that width down that top. I just want some more muscle down that top and down through the center portion of his stifle. But still, he's a good calf that has a lot of bone to him, has a lot of extension, as well as a nice front end on him. Congratulations to all three of y'all, uh, all four of y'all for uh, raising these nice calves. Congratulations. Congratulations to Class 4 winner Kaylee Davis. You'll be coming back for the drive. In second, Baden Lemieux. Third, Jaden Bullock. And fourth, Caden Klein. Great job. We're now going into the Homegrown Feeder Steer Show Drive. From Class 1, we're looking for Bronson Senior, shown by Ashley Cannon. In second, from Class 2, we're looking for Emily Sash. From Class 3, we're looking for Grace Dola. And from class four, we're looking for Kaylee Davis. If you have a second place animal, please be in the alley ready to re-enter. If you plan to participate in the group steer show, you need to come and sign up by the end of showmanship today. We will not be taking any signups after the conclusion of showmanship. So if your children plan on participating in the group steer show, you need to come and sign up in the announcer stand by the end of showmanship today.
as we get uh, lined down on the feeder st uh, steer show here. Really four nice calves out here. You've really got to appreciate, uh, you know, I take any one of them and put them in my barn and uh, try to get them to the best of their ability uh, to mature weight. Uh, I think they're calves that uh, got some a lot of good to them. I, got, I think they got a lot of value to them. Uh, the calf hair in the front end, a really calf that I like the overall depth of body. I like the overall extension of this calf, especially that, that front end, a real lazy and sharp and smooth in that shoulder. Probably like to go ahead and lengthen him up in his hip just a little bit. Gets a little shorter in that hip, but I'd like to see. Probably like to get a little more shape there right out of the quarter. The next calf we have here in line, a calf that has plenty of power to him. They're going to be a really powerhouse type of a calf. that stays down a lot of bone. Probably like to get him a little square out of his hip. He wants to get a little, uh, if you see him from his top of his hip down to the he wants to get a little round there out of his hip just a little more. And to complement that, uh, he's also a calf that gets just a touch more round up in that shoulder. Uh, but uh, we, he's a calf, when you get that much power, he is really going to uh, soggy down just a little bit. But I think she'll be able to uh, show that calf and keep that up and uh, make him look good. Uh, she's doing a great job making him look good. The next calf we have there in line, a calf that probably uh, puts things together really nicely. A calf that uh, when you really uh, study him, probably a deep body, deeper body type of a calf that has a lot of expansion of rib strength structure, a calf that probably just is a touch more heavier in that front end we'd like to see, but still when you get right behind him, going to have plenty of power to him, going to have plenty of shape of muscle. And then finally the calf there at the end, a calf that's a really long body type of a calf, just a good doing type of a calf, sort of a complete type of a calf, a uh, calf you appreciate the overall length and extension that he has, a calf that has some muscle, he has some body capacity. Yes, this is not probably the showiest uh, calf, but he's just a calf that's sort of complete in his overall makeup, just a nice calf to work with. Uh, without any further ado, we'll go ahead and give them a round of applause on a job well done, then we'll go ahead and select that champion feeder calf. Congratulations to the winner of the Feeder Steer Homegrown Show, uh, Feeder Steer Homegrown Show, Grace Dole, a grand champion. Coming back from Class Three, we have Brooke Cannon. Congratulations to the reserve champion, homegrown feeder steer, Emily Sash, re-entering from Class 2, Reagan Lane.
Congratulations to third overall from Class 1 Bronson Senior FFA Chapter Animal shown by Ashley Cannon. There will not be one re-entering from Class 1. It was a single entry. Fourth overall came from class four. That was Kaylee Davis. We're now looking for the second place animal from class four to re-enter, shown by Vaden Lemieux. Congratulations to fifth overall, Baden Lemieux. You may now exit the arena. We're going to take some photos and then be ready for showmanship.
directly following the photos, we're going to go ahead and get ready for fat steer showmanship. And we're going to start with primaries. Testing. Will all primary exhibitors? Are all exhibitors or just primaries? I need all showmanship exhibitors in the ring without your animal. All steer showmanship exhibitors in the ring without your animal. All showmanship exhibitors, please come to the ring without your animal. Can you hear me yelling back there? Last call for all showmanship exhibitors, please come to the ring without your animal. Go on in, baby. It's okay if you, are you doing showmanship? Okay, just go in there. Mr. Matt wants to talk to you, okay? All showmanship exhibitors, please come to the ring without your animal. He's got a good one of them there. where you can hear. Hey, David, I don't have my phone because we're having to use it to do Facebook. Okay. So just one of the
All right, we're about to get started with Thoughts for Your Showmanship. In the first class, we have Jake Sanchez, Macy Mills, and Reagan Geralds. We're getting started with Fats here Showmanship. In the first class, we have Jake Sanchez, Macy Mills, and Reagan Geralds.
Nice group of showmanship here. Let's give them a round of applause on a job well done. They've done a great job out here. You know, when you have a, uh, a young and that weighs about 50 pounds and a steer that weighs about 1,400 pounds and you're trying to stop that thing, it makes it a little more fun. Uh, but I think she's done a great job out here. Uh, the one young lady up there in the front end, she's doing a great job. She makes that animal look really well. That's her biggest challenge is that calf is so heavy, trying to pull it around the ring, but also trying to get him to stop when you want to. And so you're doing a great job. One thing I really appreciate was when you did try to get him to stop over here, you tried to stop him, slow him down a lot sooner before you got to the line. And I appreciate that about him. Young lady right here is doing a great job. I love how she uh, has her eyes on me all the time. She really, uh, uh, really excels in her showman and forward trying to keep that animal set up, keep that animal head up on that animal, doing a great job. Young man over there, I like when you get him stopped, you make that animal look good. You get that head up where it needs to be. One thing I could change about you, watch me just a little more. Even as you walk around the ring, I need you to watch me just a little more. But you're doing a great job. Let's give him one more round of applause on a job well done. There's a t another class of juniors that are coming in here, so we're going to uh, pick two of you to come back, and then we'll have a, a, a next class comes in. I'll pick a couple out of them, and then we'll have our final overall uh, junior showmanship that we'll pick three out of. The two ladies are going to come back for my showmanship. They've done a great job. Let's give them all a round of applause on a job well done. Great job, class one. Coming back for the primary drive, Macy Mills and Reagan Geralds. We're now looking for class two. In this group, we have Davis, Hallie Bird, and Lillian Lane.
Let's go ahead and give these exhibitors a round of applause on a job well done. They've done a great job out here. It's fun watching the juniors. I mean, because of the fact that the animals are so heavy, but yet there's so little in uh, how they control them, it's always uh, fun watching them uh, and how sometimes they react. But they're doing a great job with it. Uh, young lady up in the front end, uh, she's doing a great job, makes that animal look good. Every way she stops, she uh, keeps her eye on me. She's watching me at all times. Young lady there in the second place, I love how you're watching me. I like when you came in, you had your game face on. That's what we talked about. And But what I want to do is make sure you try to keep that animal lined up. Keep them in line. Even if you're out there, go ahead and make that circle back and try to keep them in line. Young lady down here, trying. To, you're doing a great job. The animal just wants to look around. He gets embarrassed when he comes in here, so it's a new place. But the way you're trying to watch me, I really appreciate that. You're trying to get him to stop. The animal just don't want to work for you today. Sometimes it's like bull riding. It's 50-50. You get uh, 50 for the steer, 50 for you. The steer just doesn't want to Today, but you're still doing a great job watching me. You're trying to keep him in control, and I like how you use your show stick to slow him down when you need to, but you've all done an outstanding job. I got one exhibitor I'm going to go ahead and bring back, young lady up here in the front end. We're going to bring you back for the final showmanship. Let's give them all one more round of applause on a job well done. Congratulations to Hallie Bird coming back for Class 2 of Primaries. We're now doing the primary drive. In this group, we'll have Macy Mills from Heat 1, Reagan Geralds from Heat 1, and Hallie Bird from Heat 2.
for your junior kids. We got some pretty awesome showmanship here. Let's go ahead and give them a round of applause on a job well done. Y'all got to be proud of these girls. From top to bottom, I think we got some great uh, showmen and a lot of future right here in the ring, right here. Uh, that you know, from top to bottom, uh, when we start looking at them, you know, we we had that co uh, conversation uh, before the uh, show started. And I just wanted to give them a little uh, tips of what I look for because every showmanship judge is a little different. And when you're a junior, you don't know what to expect from the judge because you haven't seen him judge yet. Uh, as a uh, you know, as a parent. And a uh, kid that exhibits livestock as well. Uh, usually, I'm in the back holding the animal while he's up there at the show ring, seeing what the judge is uh, preferring. And so that's sort of what you got to do, and uh, is make sure you sort of see what the judge wants and what he's looking for. And these girls sort of uh, uh, set the example of what I'm looking for. I'm looking for somebody that's going to make that animal look the best of its ability. They're going to keep their eye on me. They're going to let me know that they're here to win. They're going to keep their head up on that steer. They're going to keep that steer set up any way they, uh, any way they stop. They're going to try to keep that animal set up. But they've done an outstanding job from top to bottom. And like I told them in, the, uh, in our little meeting ahead of time, it's always personal preference, especially when you get in showmanship. It's always a personal preference of, uh, you know, because everybody has their own style of showmanship. Uh, but my thing that I look for is who's going to be showing that calf the best of its looks. And if I had that calf in the barn, who do I want to put on that halter? And I think there's one out here that really does a great job for me, one that just sort of takes it to the next level. They're going to be competitive when they go on these show circuits. Then you're going to see her uh, banners by the time she's a senior. She's going to have her whole wall covered with banners. And that's going to be the young lady with the red calf right up in the front end. <laughs> Grand Champion Primary Fat Steer Showman will be Macy Mills. Congratulations. We got two other uh, showmen here that are uh, doing a great job from top to bottom. Uh, in my second place showman, I think there's an exhibitor that's just sort of, I mean, especially in their class, they did a great job, really stood out in their class. Uh, exhibitor that when she gets it set up like she wants it, she does a great job. And I love how she watches me. I love how uh, she sort of makes that animal do what she wants to do. Young lady here in the uh, black and white cast, you're going to be my second place showman. And the young lady here with the uh, white calf, you're doing a great job. The calf is just overpowering you sometimes, and uh, it's hard to do that, but I love how she's uh, still working at it. When she gets that animal stock, she gets that animal set up and makes it look like a million bucks. She does a great job with it. I just wish we could get that animal to do a little more than what, she, what uh, she's able to do with. But still, y'all are doing an awesome job. Congratulations, all three of you. It's been fun. Good luck here in the future. Congratulations to reserve champion Hallie Bird and third place Reagan Geralds.
We're going to roll right into our junior showmanship. In the first class, our first seat of junior showmanship, we have Wyatt Mascot, Bailey Bird, and Kane Sanchez. If you're looking for a way to warm up, there's some warm food in the concession stand and also drinks, and I believe they have coffee even. So if you're looking for a way to warm up before showmanship starts up again with the juniors, it's a great place to be. They have opted to combine the junior heats. So we have Wyatt Mascot, Bailey Bird, Kane Sanchez, Lily Lemieux, Kaylee Kurtz, and Lyndon Teague.
your intermediate, your intermediate are here. Uh, let's go ahead and give them a round of applause on a job well done. They're doing a great job from top to bottom. Uh, I really commend each and every one of your exhibitors. Uh, we'll be a little harder because you're a little. Can you? Can you? How about now? Who knows? All right, better. I feel like I'm out outstanding now. All right. Now, uh, anyway, when we start looking at these exhibitors, I think they're doing a great job from top to bottom. Uh, when we start looking at a young man up there in the front hole, I like how you're trying to keep an eye on me. You're watching me. I just wanted you to try to keep the animal set up just a little more. When you came in, you had the, uh, the, the uh, lead sort of wrapped up in your hand just a little bit. Let that hang, and because that's sort of a distraction taken away from the animal. So let it hang and just go ahead and grab that chain just a little closer to head. But I think you're doing a great job. Even when you walk away from me, you're watching me. That's what I like to see. I just want you to try to keep that animal set up a little more. Make sure you pay attention to his hind legs, his front feet, and try to make sure we keep him set up just a little more as well. The young lady coming in here next in the second hole here, uh, doing a great job. I like how she watches me. I think she's really natural in their overall showmanship. When she gets that animal set up, she makes it look really nice. One big thing I'd want you to do, don't take him out as much. If he steps forward, use that as a steering wheel. Push him back just a little more. Every time you pull him out, it's a distraction. So make sure we keep him in, in line if we can. Young man here with a smaller calf. A little more challenging to show these smaller calves when you're a taller kid. So that's what I mentioned to you about having to step off of him just a little bit. Because if you're right on him, you're overtaking. I see more of you than I do a see of him. So I want you to make sure you sort of step off of him just a little bit. And then trying to make sure we keep the uh, feet set up sometimes. I know he wants to get out of place. And as well, you're sort of pulling him out a lot more as well. And I want to make sure you keep him set up as much as we can. But you're doing a great job. You're really relaxed in your showmanship. Young lady right here, uh, really when you get him stopped, you make him look really nice. Probably have them hind feet a little further out than I'd like to see. I'd like you to collect them hind feet just a little more. But I love how you're watching me. And I love how you move that animal around the ring with your show stick. You look really natural. And the young lady over here, uh, really make that animal look really good. You're keeping that eye contact on me. Probably if I can change anything, probably want to uh, make sure when I get around, that you wait until I get past you before you actually move, get to you before you actually move. Sometimes I think you move a little uh, ahead of time, and I want to make sure that if I'm looking at the front end, let me see that front end before you move out of the way as I come by. That's the only thing I'd like to uh, change about you as well. And young lady over here at the end, when you came in the ring, you never really watched. I was sort of standing back at the gate, seeing if anybody looked back. You never really looked. Back. I would like for you to make sure you watch me more. Make sure anytime you move around the ring, you find a judge. You keep your eye on him and watch him at all times. And also trying to keep that animal set up. But still, you're doing a great job with it. Let's go ahead and give them uh, one more round of applause on a job well done. <laughs> In third place, I'm going to show me that just sort of a fault free type showman. Probably not the most elegant showman you see out here. He does a great job trying to keep that animal set up. I think they're doing a great job trying to uh, make sure he keeps the eye contact on me. But he's doing a good job, and that's a young man right here. He's going to be my third-place showman. You've done a great job with him. In second place, I think there's a, a showman that's also doing a great job trying to uh, make sure that animal looks up. She does a great job making that animal look good. She does a great job keeping that animal set up. Probably, uh, you know, watching me. I notice sometimes uh, a lot she's watching outside the ring as well. But I still want to make sure that you uh, keep an eye on me. The young lady right here is going to be my second place showman. Uh, still doing a great job. And in the first place is just a, a one that I just naturally just thought uh, was drawn to the way uh, she handles the animal, the way she keeps that animal set up, and just makes that animal look like a million bucks, and I would have her on my halter any day. And that's the young lady here in the second hole. She just done a great job. Congratulations to all of y'all. Y'all have done an awesome job, and good luck in there in the future, and we'll see y'all down the road. Congratulations to our winners of Junior Fat Sear Showmanship, Grand Champion Bailey Bird, Reserve champion, Lyndon Teague, and in third place, Kane Sanchez. Great job, and you may exit the arena. We'd like to get a photo of the top three, so if you can stick around for a picture, that would be great.
directly after photos, we're going to go ahead and get started with our senior fat seer showmanship. In this group, we have Addison Burns, Aiden Phillips, and Reagan Hancock.
two exhibitors here in this class are doing a great job. Let's give them a round of applause on the job well done. They've done a great job as well. Young lady up the front end, she's a great showman. I can see when she gets that animal stopped, she really makes that animal look good. The animal she's wanting to push her around doesn't want to work for her today. Uh, but you still, when I uh, walked to her just a little bit, she had that sort of out. I just asked her if she wanted to move it around. Uh, and I know that animal was going to test her just a little bit, but still, you did a great job handling it. But I just hate to see it pushing you on the rail just a little bit. So the big thing we try to do is when you're turning that animal, try to make sure you get around it and it's front end before you, instead of just trying to push it. But you're, you're doing a great job. Keep an eye on me. You're trying to make him set up, make him look good. Young lady right here, you're doing a good job trying to keep that animal set up. You keep that head up. Probably would like to see you be able to walk that animal in place just a little more. I think you uh, poke that feet, the feet just a little more than I like to see. I'd like for you to try to work keeping that animal uh, walked in place instead of having to use the show stick. But still, I think you're a uh, great, great show in if you're a great showman, I'm going to just go with what I think to fall free, and that's the young lady over here. I think you're doing a great job, and I'll follow you back here for the uh, overall final heat. And uh, congratulations to both of you. I still think you're an awesome showman, and sometimes it's just luck, but you still did a great job. Congratulations. Coming back to the drive from Heat 1, Addison Burns. We're now looking for Heat 2, Layla Hobby, Riley Locke, Savannah Geralds, and Tristan Weathers representing Williston Senior Chapter.
it always gets interesting uh, when it gets a little cooler and uh, you know you spend a little more time and these calves in the ring because they uh, either are tired from one being in a grooming shoot and uh, or they've been through a show already. But still, I think it's, uh, these exhibitors are doing a great job. Let's give them a round of applause on a job well done. From top to bottom, I think we're doing a great job. Young man up here in the front end, I think what we need to do is just make sure you watch me just a little more when you move around the ring. Make sure you look back, know where I am at all times. Keep that head up on that animal and try to keep him set up. Young lady right here, I think you're doing a great job. The steer just wants to keep moving off. But when she gets him set up, I love how she keeps that head up on that animal. It makes him look so much better. And she's doing a great job. The animal just wants to keep pushing her around. But when she does get him stopped, she makes him look like a million bucks. Young lady right there in the second uh, or the third place hole here, uh, really doing a good job. Really moving the animal a lot, a lot more than I'd like to see. I'd like for him to be able to calm down just a little bit and get it be able to uh, keep her set up just a little longer. Uh, I think that's one of the big problems that we're seeing. Uh, but still, I think she's doing a great job when she does get him set up. She does make him look good, and she handles that show stick really well. Young lady at the end uh, probably had the most uh, easiest time at the uh, beginning uh, trying to get that animal set up. She walks it in place, which is what's all I, what I like to see. I like to be able to uh, get that animal walked into place instead of having to poke him with a show stick so much. I like how she actually starts uh, scratching that animal before it actually stops. Let's that animal know, hey, we're fixing to stop here get set up and get ready. And so she's doing a great job with that. I'm going to have two showmen come back uh, out of this one. I think they've done an outstanding job. I just want to see how they uh, perform in the next level. But the uh, young lady right here and the young lady there at the end, you are going to come back for my final showmanship. Congratulations to Cla Heat 2. Coming back, we have Layla Hobby and Savannah Geralds. Next, we'll have Heat 3 of seniors, Lainey Kaysen, Aubrey Ward, Mackenzie Micheletti, senior, Trenton Senior, shown by Emily Futch, and Austin Phillips. If you plan to participate in the group steer contest on Tuesday, please come to the announcer stand to sign up. The signups will end today after showmanship. You must be signed up by the end of showmanship today.
Let's give them all a round of applause on the job well done. They're doing a good job out here as well. Some of, the, some of the things I'd like to see, young lady up here in the front end, you're doing a great job when you're moving around the ring. One thing I want you to, uh, like I mentioned, when you come in, to make sure you watch, see where I am, turn back, look at me. But also make sure where you keep that animal set up. Sometimes I think you can get them hind feet stretched out a little too far. Try to keep them a little more collected. You want to want them about a foot, foot and a half in between the hind feet, but you're doing a great job. Young lady right here, I like how uh, when you do get her set up, you make it make the animal look really nice. Uh, but also when you get it set, make sure you look back to see where I am. And like I mentioned before, don't try to make that uh, circle too small because it's hard to get them in that line. Make a bigger circle if we can, but you're doing a great job. Young lady over here, uh, doing a good job uh, trying to make sure we keep that animal set up. Sometimes I think you let that butt view get up sort of out. Make sure we try to keep them up on the profile. That way I've already seen the rear view, so I want to see the profile view to try to keep them in line. And young lady over here with a big scimitar calf, she's doing a great job. Really caught my eye when you came in the ring. You were watching me. You had your game face on. The calf just isn't wanting to do what you want it to do. Letting that uh, sw hind end swing out just a little more trying to keep them in the profile line and keep them uh, set up is what we want to do. But I think y'all have done a great job, uh, and I know that it's just a little more challenging when the steers get acting in these way, but still, y'all have done an outstanding job. Young lady right here, I'm going to bring you back over from my overall uh, showmanship. Y'all have done an outstanding job. Let's give them all one more round of applause on a job well done. Congratulations to Heat 3 callback, Mackenzie Micheletti. We're now looking for Heat 4 of Senior Showmanship, Hagen Etheridge, Sydney Watkins, Madison Lane, Kylie Smith.
They're doing, they're doing a great job from top to bottom. Let's give them a round of applause on a job well done, if you don't mind. Doing a good job uh, trying to make sure we uh, keep them set up. The young lady up from front end, you're doing a great job making that ammo look uh, really good. Sometimes when you get him over there, sometimes that head gets a little too high. When you get it too high, what it actually does is make that back sag just a little bit. So when you uh, you want to make sure you try to keep it that right right level so you don't get easy in that top. But you do get him set up, you make him look really nice. Young lady right here, uh, you know, in the second hole, probably having a little more difficult time trying to keep the animal set up, uh, trying to keep him in line. Uh, one thing I'd want to change about her just a little bit. When she was over here side by side, I could tell she almost lost it just a little bit and like give up. Don't ever give up. Make sure you just keep get back in line and show like it's your first show and just keep doing like you're going to do uh, because you don't ever want to give up in the middle of showmanship. And I just saw it in your face. You're like, crap. And so, but I think you're doing a great job. When you do get him set up, you make him look good. The steer just wants to keep moving around for you. It's a new environment. And Always remember that. Young lady right here, probably one of the more relaxed showmen and a showman. What I'd want to do is probably make sure you keep an eye on the feet just a little more. We got all four feet out of place, and we want to make sure we keep them set up. Sometimes when you set them hind feet up, you set them up too far apart. Try to keep them a little more collected if we can. But make sure we uh, keep an eye on the feet because I can tell you are watching me. But you want to also make sure you watch your feet on your steer as well. But y'all do a great job. Let's give them one more round of applause. Job well done. And we'll have this young lady up in the front end coming on back for the showmanship. Uh, and I think we've all done an outstanding job. Let's give them one more round of applause, and we'll have that final showmanship. Congratulations to Kylie Smith from Heat 4 coming back for finals. We're now going into senior finals. In this group, we'll have Addison Burns from Heat 1, Layla Hobby and Savannah Geralds from Heat 2, Mackenzie Micheletti from Heat 3, and Kylie Smith from Heat 4. This is your senior Fat Steer Showmanship Finals.
This is this is your your showman out here. You got a some group of kids here. Let's give them a round of applause. Hard right, job, well done. Just want to say uh, thank y'all for having me out here tonight, uh, this afternoon. It's been fun. Once again, it's always fun coming back to uh, the Chiefland. Uh, a lot of memories made here, uh, and uh, but it's still great. The biggest thing I really enjoy seeing these youngins out here on this altar and see how competitive they are. Uh, even when uh, I was here, I just remember coming and looking at these feeder kids and looking at these past year show. I mean, y'all have a lot of top-notch uh, experts here. It was a lot of quality cattle here, and it's always fun to come sort of. Uh, uh, good cattle and always better to sort good exhibitors because they're all great. They're all champions in my mind. They've done an outstanding job. We definitely have to look for the future to these kids and uh, they're doing a great job and a prime example of what we all want them to be. And so without further ado, let's give them one more round of applause. And I thank y'all for having me and we'll go ahead and start selecting them by three senior showmanship. I think we got three showmen that sort of uh, stand out. Uh, I think they've all done an outstanding job. I think we have some, some of the issues that I see is, is I know throughout the, the day, you know, the animals aren't wanting to work for us, cooperate, and that happens sometimes. Number one, we got a new environment. Number two, we got front that came through uh, the rain, it just sort of makes them a little more antsy, and so they don't want to stand there uh, as much. But the exhibitors are doing a great job on trying to handle them, they're trying to make them look good. As we talked before, uh, we had uh, when they come in, they got to have that game face on. Uh, the other thing, they got to make sure that they keep on keep that animal set up. No matter what's going on, we're trying to make sure we keep that animal set up. I want to try to keep them on the rail. I don't want to keep them too close to the rail, and I don't want to let that uh, that. Uh, profile start turning into a rear view. I want to make sure you keep them in line is, is what I like to do. And I want you to be relaxed in your showmanship. But like we said, it's try, trying to take that exhibitor who, uh, who's showing it the best and if I had that steer, who would I want to put on the halter? In uh, third place, I think there's an exhibitor that's doing a great job just having the, probably a thought free and fewest if I change thing. She wants to stretch her steer out way too much. I want to get her a little more collected. That's the young lady right here, she's going to be my third place show, and she's just doing a great job. Thank you, my second place showman, I think, doing an awesome job as well. Probably an exhibitor that really uh, makes it look easy, really relaxed, really slow in their overall movement. But when they get them stopped, they're doing a great job keep that right foot set that they need to be. Sometimes what happens with exhibitors, if they're focusing on the judge and they don't pay attention to hind legs, but sometimes we let that hind leg get a little too far apart. We only want about a foot and a half, maybe a foot uh, difference in that hind leg. But still, what that does is that flattens that hip out, makes that animal look natural, makes them look really nice. A uh, young lady right here in the front, you're going to be my second place showman. You've just done an outstanding job. Next, there's an exhibitor that just great job. Every time she stops, she makes that animal look like a million bucks. I would love to have her on a halter of uh, one of my uh, uh, calves if I could. Uh, just doing a great job with it. That's the young lady right here with the black and white calf. Just an amazing jo job tonight. Congratulations. Thank y'all for having me, and I uh, thank y'all, and y'all done an outstanding job. Y'all got a great group of uh, kids here. You got a great group of animals. Also, you got a group of volunteers. Thank y'all so much. But yeah, oh, I'm, they're telling me I still got to work. So, uh, but anyways, y'all still got a great group of kids anyway. Yeah. Congratulations to Grand Champion Fat Seer Showman, Layla Hobby. Reserve, Kylie Smith. And in third, Addison Burns.
We're going to roll right into Feeder Steer Showmanship Primary Group. There are three heats of primaries. In the first group, we have Tucker Whitehurst, Parker Whitehurst, and Sadie Sash.
All right, here we go. We got the primary feeder steers going on here. Uh, doing a great job out here. Just sort of talk with them a little bit. Uh, you know, some of the things, this is their first time coming in the ring, so it's sort of, sort of new to them. But I think they're doing a great job. Let's give them a round of applause if y'all don't mind. They're doing a great job out here. I got one that I'm going to go ahead and call back. You know, once they get that animal set up, they make it look really good. She's watching me all the time, and that's the young lady up here in the front end. <coughs> She'll come back, and we got uh, three heats of uh, these juniors, so uh, we're going to uh, go ahead and keep her back. Young guys are doing a great job here. I want to make sure you watch me just a little more. You don't have to show stick. Just make sure you scratch the animal to uh, make him stand there. And uh, young man, I just sort of talking to him about how he's going to stand backwards instead of standing forward on that calf, and then he'd have a free hand to use with a show stick. But he'll learn that as he uh, gets a little older, a little more experienced. And I think they're doing an awesome job, and we'll uh, see y'all down the road, and in the future, let's give them one more round of applause on a job well done. Congratulations to Sadie Sash from Heat 1 coming back to final. And we're now looking for Heat 2 of Primary Showmanship. Newt Jennings, Reedan Kaysen, and Haley Craig, please enter the arena.
two really nice shots out here uh, from top to bottom. Young lady up in the front end. Uh, we just sort of had a uh, discussion. I like to keep that hand a little closer to the head because sometimes when you get it too far up, I see that hand and fit of the head. So you want to make sure you, uh, you sort of hide that hand behind the head just a little bit. Young man over here doing a great job. I love how he's watching me. He really uh, caught my eye when he came in the ring. He told me he was here to show. Uh, the calf does want to, did want to try to get out of him just a little bit, but he does get him uh, set back up. And uh, if I can change of anything, young lady right here sometimes lets that animal get out of place, but we talked about it. But I think they're both great showmen, and I'm going to go ahead and keep you both back for my overall showmanship because I think y'all are doing a both a great job. Y'all deserve to get called back, so we'll see y'all in the final showmanship. Congratulations to Newt Jennings and Haley Craig, both getting the invite back for finals. We now have our last heat of primary showmanship, Emily Sash, Mabry Whitehurst, J.C. Beecham, and Caroline Geralds.
Let's go ahead and give these exhibitors a round of applause on a job well done. They've done a great job out here as well. From top to bottom, I think they're doing good. Some of the shears are uh, wanting to be a little antsy as well, but uh, young exhibitors are doing a great job making them set up. I like how uh, there's a couple of them that's just sitting here watching me. They're making sure the animal looks good. Sometimes uh, when I get behind you, I want to make sure you know that I'm behind you and you get out of the way as well. But I'm going to go ahead and keep two exhibitors out of here. Young lady up in the front end, the young lady right here. I'm going to go ahead and keep y'all back for the uh, final overall showmanship. I think y'all have done an outstanding job from top to bottom. Let's give them all one more round of applause on a job well done. Coming back from Heat 3 of Primary Showmanship, Emily Sash and Caroline Geralds, please stay in the ring. We'd also like to call back the finalists from Class 2, Newt Jennings and Haley Craig, as well as Sadie Sash from Heat 1 of Primary Showmanship. This will be Primary Finals. I'd also like to remind everyone if you are participating or planning to participate in the group steer contest, you must sign up by the end of showmanship today. There will be no more signups after today during showmanship. Wow, that's all I got to say is wow, because we have a great group of showmanship here in this junior division, this primary. Let's give them a round of applause on a job well done. From top to bottom, we got a, a tremendous group of uh, showmen here. I think, uh, you know, even uh, with some of the animals that are wanting to act up, they're still handling them really well. They're making them look really good, and it's uh, really a pleasure to see that. Uh, but still, uh, they're relaxed in their showmen. You watch every one of these showmen out here, and they're keeping an eye on me. They're knowing where I am at all times, and they're uh, 
adamant about trying to keep that animal set up. You know, during your show, this is what we want to see. This is pretty awesome, uh, you know, to see this level of competitiveness here in this show, and I, I think y'all doing an outstanding job. Let's give them one more round of applause on a job well done. I think, you know, uh, they're doing a great job from the bottom. When I uh, started analyzing them, I was trying to uh, also look, remember what happened in the class, some of the things that I told them, some of the things that I told them, see if they actually corrected it. And uh, so I think, I know one or two of them did, and, uh, and they were the ones that I'm going to start using as well. But in third place, I think they're the showman that's doing a, uh, a great job trying to keep that animal set every time they uh, look at it. But uh, what I want to do with her is just sort of keep that uh, hind feet collected just a little bit. And that's the uh, issue that I see. But this young lady at the end, I'm a third place showman, just doing a great job. I just want to see her keep her feet collected just a little more. She's letting it get stretched out. And I talked to her about that just a little bit. But once she gets set up, she makes it look good. So she's doing a great job. In second place, there's an exhibitor here that when he came in, he caught my eye. The only boy in the ring here, and I'm proud of this man right here because he's doing a great job. Uh, keep him set up. He's keeping the animal head up. A little more challenging trying to make sure the feet were set up at some point. But still, you've done a great job. And uh, it's great to see you out here hanging with these girls because it's tough to hang with these girls sometimes. But you're doing a great job with it. In my first place exhibitor, and she is uh, unbelievable because uh, when she came in, uh, you know, with that calf, I said, there's no way this calf is going to, uh, she's going to be able to handle this calf. But she darn sure did, and she makes it look like a million bucks. And that young lady is doing a great job with this calf. You know, the way you keep that animal set up, you keep that head up. And uh, I, I really worried about you when you came in. You watched me, but I thought that animal was going to get loose from you. I was already getting on him make sure you watch that calf. But you handled it really well. And when you get him stopped, you make him look really good. You've done an awesome job. Congratulations to everybody out here. More round of applause on a job well done. Congratulations to primary grand champion feeder showman Caroline Geralds, reserve Newt Jennings, and in third, Emily Sash. We're going to go ahead and snap a quick picture of these three hard work in primaries, and then we're going to roll right into our junior showmanship.
Interme intermediate or junior feeder steer showman. Please line up. You can't hear me out there? Oh, this one's only in here. That doesn't have to. Intermediate, feeder steer showman, please line up. Okay, they still can't hear me. All right, we're welcoming the first class of junior If you are participating in junior or senior showmanship, you need to head to the barn so that way we can make sure that this runs smoothly. If you don't have your official dress on yet and you're a senior, go ahead and get that on so that way we can get rolling. We're missing several juniors in the barn right now.
in the current heat of junior showmanship, we have Baden Lemieux, David Wilson, Kylie Wise, Holden Beecham, and Rex Rohr. Bo Beckham, please head to your steer, Bo Beckham. All right, we got uh, this heat and one more heat right after this. Uh, doing a great job out here with these exhibitors from top to bottom. Uh, some of the things I talked about, maybe thinning off the calf a little bit. When you get in your age where you're a little taller than the calf, you all, if you're a
to that calf. You almost make it look like you're overtaking that calf. I see more of you than I do the calf. So you want to make sure you uh, get off of it just a little more, keeping them set up, making sure you uh, get out of the way when I come uh, come by. But I think y'all are doing a great job. There's, this is uh, I'll pick three out of this class to come back. I think there's three exhibitors that deserve to come back a great job, whether they're uh, really relaxed in the showman or they just do a great job when they walk around keeping that eye on me how they hold their show stick. But other, let's give them a round of applause and I'll select them three to come back. We're going to go ahead and start at the end with the young man in the uh, 4A jacket. We'll call you back. Young lady with the FFA jacket. Young man with the FFA jacket. Congratulations. We'll see y'all in the final go round. Returning for junior finals, we have Baden Lemieux and Kylie Wise. And Rex Rohr. We're now looking for the second heat of junior showmanship. In this group, we have Brant Lane, Emily Carreras, Emma Head, Bo Beckham, and Annabelle Whitehurst.
Our final meeting here at the Intermediates. Let's give them a round of applause if you don't mind. They're doing a great job out here. From top to bottom, I think you're doing a great job. I think there's some little things that I'd like to uh, change in each one of you. I'm finding some little things, young lady up front. I think she does a great job watching me. Sometimes I'm thinking you're letting them front feet get too far forward. Keep them feet even with the shoulder because when you get them too far forward, you stretch that calf out just a little more. Young lady right here doing a good job. The ste steer is just not wanting to stay set up for her. But I want to make sure you watch them feet at all times when sometimes they're getting out of place. But you always got to keep an eye on the feet. Young lady right here. Probably had, the, had done the least of any because the calf is just standing there and uh, make and she got it set up, so there's nothing else she needs to do. One thing, of course, we talked about, just make sure you get out of the way, and I'll probably step off that calf just a little bit instead of being right there on him. And so you're doing a great job with a young man there at the end. You're watching me like a hawk, and that's what I love. Yeah, I like that. I just think you're having a little bit of problem trying to get that animal set up, find his feet placement where he wants to put them feet. If we can do that a little easier, I think what I would do when you get home, is start working that calf without that show stick. Try to make him walk right into place. But I think y'all done an outstanding job. There's two that I'm going to bring back, and that's going to be the young lady right here and the young lady up here in the front end. I think y'all done an outstanding job. Let's give them all one more round of applause on a job well done. Congratulations to Emily Carreras and Annabelle Whitehurst, invited back for the finals from Class 4. We are now ready for junior drive, so ladies, please stay in the ring. Thank you. So Annabelle Whitehurst, Emily Carrera from class or from Heat Four. From Heat Three, we have Kaylee or Kylie Weiss and Rex Rohr. And from Heat Two, we have Baden Lemieux from and that'll be everyone coming back for junior finals.
Let's give them a round of applause on a job well done. They've done a great job out here. From top to bottom, they've done an outstanding job. Uh, you know, the animals are getting tired. They're ready to uh, go just like uh, some of the other ones. But, uh, but still, we're trying to make sure we keep that feet up, keep it high on me. And the less we have to touch them, the better off we are. And uh, I think from uh, my standpoint, I think there's a done a great job. They make their animals look well. Uh, you know, they get out of the way. They pivot out of the way and make sure I can see that animal at all times. And that's one thing that we have to do. Uh, in my third place, I think there's a showman that uh, really does a great job watching me. I like how they keep their, uh, they work their show and, uh, as they're watching. I like how they try to keep that animal set up. There's some times when I'm watching that the feet, don't, the feet get out of place when they get too close to they're, like they're standing on all fours when they're here on the profile. The young man there with the Hereford steer, you're going to be my third place showman. You've done a great job with that calf. You make him look good, and you're always trying to keep them feet. But I want you to keep an eye on them feet just a little more, but you're, uh, you're doing a great job with it. A uh, young lady there in the uh, white calf is going to be my second cat in place. The way you wash me, the way you the calf around. Yes, the steer is trying to push you around, but when you get him stopped, you make him look like a million bucks. Uh, then that here that just sort of, to me, I can't find too many faults on him. There is some faults that I've seen, but he has to touch him the least. And that's the young man up there in the front hole. He has hardly touched that calf, and that calf is staying set up. And he's doing a great job showing that calf and watching me. And he's probably the fault-free showman out here. Probably not the flashiest showman, but the fault-free showman out here. Congratulations, you'll be my winner. Congratulations to the group of feeder steer showmen. Grand champion goes to Vaden Lemieux. Reserve, Kylie Weiss. And in third, Rex Rohr. Please stick around for photos. And then we'll roll into seniors. We're going to go ahead and get started with our senior feeder steer showmanship. In the first heat, we have Savannah Langford, Joshua Rice, Ansley Studstill, Knox Hobby, Williston Jr. Chapter Animal, shown by Amanda Cook and Abigail Hampton.
If you are planning to participate in senior showmanship, you need to go back to your animal and get ready for a lineup so we can make this move efficiently. First uh, round of uh, seniors here. Let's give them a round of applause on the job well done. They've done a great job. I think there's, uh, you know, there's some uh, things that uh, some things I'd like to change about each one of these, but I think they're doing a great job from top to bottom. Uh, I'm not going to waste too much time, but make the big thing is let's try to make sure we keep them in line. Don't let them sort of drift outwards or, or whatever. I want to make sure we try to keep them in line. I know it's a little more challenging. we got younger calves here that we're working with, but still, I think you're doing a great job. Make sure I can see all parts of the animal uh, as I walk by. But I think there's one out here that just sort of catches my eye from the uh, beginning, but then when I saw him, uh, setting him up. He does a great job as well, uh, but it's just my personal preference. But the young man right here in the middle, I'm going to call you back for the final showmanship. You've just done an outstanding job trying to make sure that animal walks into place and everything, everything else that we like to see. So y'all done an outstanding job since we got six heat. I'm going to just sort of select one from each heat, but y'all done a great job. Congratulations. Give them one more round of applause on a job well done. 
Congratulations to Knox Hobby, sealing his invitation to the finals. We're ready for the second heat of seniors, Jaden Bullock. Bronson Senior Chapter Animals shown by Ashley Cannon, Michaela Myers, Reagan Lane, and Avery Niesmith.
Let's go ahead and give them uh, these exhibitors a round of applause on a job well done. They're doing a great job out here. Top to bottom, I think we're doing a, a good job. Just some uh, uh, pointers that I wanted to give them, whether they stand off of it and make sure they pivot out of the way. But uh, just trying to find one that sort of has to do the least amount of work. And I think uh, I went ahead and narrowed it down to the young lady right here in front of me. Uh, she's going to be the one that's going to come back. I definitely think she's uh, doing the least amount of work. I think some of the calves just sort of get out of place where we have them too stretched out or we don't move out of the way when I come by. And I think she's sort of a fall free uh, exhibitor out here uh, today. Uh, in this class, but I think y'all have done an outstanding job uh, from top to bottom. Let's give them all one round of applause on a job well done. Congratulations, Heat 2 Showmanship, getting called back to finals, Reagan Lane. Next, we're looking for class, or Heat 3 of Senior Showmanship, Lane Whitehurst, Caden Klein, and Peyton Campbell.
Let's go ahead and give them a round of applause. They've done a great job out here as well. We start out looking at them uh, from time to time, you know, as we talked about before, you know, it, sometimes it's just the poise on how they uh, handle their uh, show stick, how they handle the head on uh, the animal, and how they sort of are sitting as well. And sometimes it just gets, some of them have that knack for it, and it looks, it looks like sort of natural to me. Uh, but still, we want to make sure we don't stretch them out too far. We want to keep them all collected, but we want to make sure them hind feet are right. They should be. Uh, but still, I think there's one out here that's uh, just sort of caught my eye as well. It's a personal preference, but I just think he's done a great job. Uh, making that animal look good. I think uh, when he keeps an eye on me, he keep, uh, the way he watched me, it's just really been uh, uh, fun to watch him uh, show the calf. Young man at the end, I'm going to call him back for my uh, final final showmanship. He's just done a great job. Uh, but still, I think y'all are all excellent showmen. Like I said, we're just sort of picking one out of here, and you've done a great job. Let's give him one more round of applause on a job well done. Congratulations to the callback from Class 3, Lane Whitehurst. We're now going into Class 4, Grace Dola, Carson McKenzie, Hannah Langford, and Gus Roberts.
once again, uh, once again, another group of seniors here is coming in the ring and doing a great job. I uh, really admire uh, you know, a lot of the, uh, the attitude that we have here uh, and as we talk about different things that we can help correct them with, I think they're doing an awesome job there. Just some things that we talked about was, uh, you know, of course, as we talked before, make sure you get out of the way so I can uh, see all parts of that animal. Pivot out of the way. I, you know, like I told the young man, you know, a lot of times I like to use my left foot and just use that to pivot on. And you keep it planted and you can just really make a simple move just to get out of the way so uh, the judge can see all parts of that animal. Uh, the other thing, uh, you know, when you come in here and trying to get them set up, Still make sure you watch me and make sure you know where I am at all times. Like I said, like I was behind her, she wasn't sure which way to go, didn't know where I was going. So make sure you know where I am uh, when I come uh, come about. But I think y'all are doing a great job. Uh, one exhibitor out here sort of stood out to me, and that's going to be the young lady right there at the end. I'm going to have her come back. I think she's done an outstanding job. Congratulations to everybody. Y'all had a great time here, and y'all are awesome showmen. Don't get discouraged one bit. Just take it to the next show and do what you're doing because you're doing a great job. Congratulations to the callback from Class 4, Grace Stola. We're now looking for Class 5, Olivia Hilty, Kimberly King, Cade Meeks, and Savannah Cobb.
Another great group of uh, showmen out here on the senior showmanship. Uh, you know, the biggest thing I see in this uh, class is just making sure you move so I can see all parts of the animal. Uh, as I come by, I want to make sure you pivot out of the way so I can see all parts of that animal. And I think that's our biggest mistake that I think uh, that some of us made. But I think the young lady right here in the middle is going to be coming back for the uh, overall showmanship. If I can change it anyways, keep an eye on that hind leg. You're letting it get stretched out just a little bit. But other than that, y'all done an outstanding job. Give us give all one more round of applause on job well done. Congratulations to Kimber King, call back from class five. We're now looking for class six of senior showmanship. In this group, we have Anna Ellison, Shelby Strickland, Rachel Couch, and Cole Wedge. This will be our last heat of senior showmanship before finals.
Last Need of Seniors here. Let's give them a round of applause on a job well done. They've done a great job out when uh, we start looking at these four, uh, really four different types of showmen out here, young men up front here yeah, doing a great job. I like how he tried to keep that head to a level there, but I want to make sure we keep that animal set up. Pay attention to his feet. Make sure we keep them set up uh, like we need to do. Young lady right here, uh, sometimes you're getting her stretched out just a little bit too much. But don't, that's the problem when you get too close to that rail, you run into issues. And that's why we always try to keep them off of the rail just a little bit. Young lady right here, you can finally settle down. You made that calf look good. Uh, it had some issues when that calf didn't want to just stand like you wanted him to. You finally settle down. You're making it look good. You're doing a great job with it. Young lady over here, same thing. You started off really well, uh, and then you just kept, uh, the calf just didn't want to come around this corner. Right? One thing you need to always remember, you're in the best place you can be because you're last over here in line. And so you can stop him way back here and walk him until you get him where you want. Instead of trying to stop him right here, you can start way back here. You have plenty of room. So always remember that when you're thinking about trying to walk him into place, that you can, you got plenty of room to start it. And so always think about that. And uh, the more you keep them on the rail, the harder it is to work with them. So make sure we keep them off the rail if we can. And plus, the judge needs to be able to walk down the rail without being, you know, compromised, you know, from not enough room there. But still, I we're doing a, do a great job from top to bottom. Let's give them all a round of applause, if you don't mind. I'm going to go ahead and use young lady right here in the middle right here. I think she's done a great job. Uh, once you got that animal settled down, you really made that animal look good, and you're doing a great job making keeping him set up. Congratulations, to everybody. Awesome job. And then we're going to go ahead and get the final round going. Congratulations to Shelby Strickland, who got the invite to finals. So please stay in the ring. In senior finals, we have Knox Hobby from Heat 1, Reagan Lane from Heat 2, Lane Whitehurst from Heat 3, Grace Dola from Heat 4, Kimber King from Heat 5, and Shelby Strickland from Heat 6. Let's put our hands together for this last group. I'd also like to say a special thank you to our beef sponsors, Cloverleaf Tack, Brad and Shannon Etheridge, Jeff Phillips, 4J Cattle, Levy County Farm Bureau, Kevin Stutz Welding, J2 Cattle Company, Jerry and Desiree Mills, Heather Rucker from Farm Bureau, Ben Colson from Farm Bureau, IS Ranch, Mills Performance Horses, Forever Flowers and Gifts, Long Fencing, Gerald Show Cattle, Lane Farms, Dave and Wendy Bird, and Mills 55 Farms. Thank you for supporting the beef shows.
Just a reminder, this is your last opportunity to sign up for the group steer contest. If you plan on participating in the group steer contest on Tuesday, you must come to the announcer stand at the conclusion of finals to sign up. Well, I get to say it again. Y'all got a great group of showmen out here. Great group of exhibitors. Let's give them all a round of applause on a job well done. It's been an, uh, a great evening out here. I appreciate it, and I uh, thank y'all for having me once again. Uh, you know, I, I uh, really enjoy showing, uh, uh, judging these cattle, and I really enjoy uh, showmanship because it is a uh, art. Uh, some people think that, you know, you try to find that thought free, but some people just really have that uh, that look for showmanship, and uh, it sort of happens. But, uh, you know, also try to find the thought free type showman, the one that has to move that calf the least amount, the one that has to, uh, that keeps that animal set up, and uh, the one that also like, allows me to look at the animal as I walk by. And I think I've done an outstanding job out here uh, from top to bottom. And I'm going to have to uh, go into my third place showman. I think there's a showman that's uh, just done a great job uh, from top to bottom. Uh, trying to keep that animal set up and uh, from uh
And every time I look at it, they're trying to make sure it's set up. There have been a few times where, you know, the feet were probably a little closer than I'd like to see. But the young lady right here in front of me, you do a great job. The way you show, you're really uh, very naturally relaxed. And it makes that animal look as well as, uh, as when we look at it. And so you just done a really, really outstanding job. Uh, but still, I think you uh, second place, there's another uh, young exhibitor here that's done a great job trying to make sure that animal's set up and uh, in the class had a little more issues, but really calmed that calf down just a little more, and that's the lady up here in the front end. Uh, she just really did a great job. Uh, from top to bottom. But then there's an exhibitor here that just sort of puts it together a complete package, probably the fall free showman that I've seen here this afternoon, and that's the young lady with this uh, mixed colored calf, just really done an outstanding job from top to bottom. I do want to say that, yeah, uh, honorable mention to young man at the end. I really had this man up there in the front and a hole in, uh, but the more he hit less with it, the more animal got aggravated a little more. But still, I think you're doing a great job. Don't change hardly anything what you're doing. I think the animal just got sort of tired and wanted to just quit on you. But you've done a great job keeping that animal uh, exhibited, and you're doing a great job. Keep it up. Let's give them all one more round of applause on a job well done, and thanks y'all for having me. Congratulations to the Feeder Steer Champion Showman for Seniors, Kimberly King. Reserve Champion, Shelby Strickland. And in third, Grace Dola. Great job. And we will see you tomorrow at 1030 for the church service and lunch afterwards.